Hello and welcome to my science tutorials. In today's video, we are going to be looking at the calculation of solubility and solubility product of salts. Before we begin, if you are new to my science tutorials, kindly consider subscribing and pressing that notification button so that you don't miss any of our latest tutorials on biology, chemistry, mathematics, and physics. So let's begin. So, like I said earlier on, we will be looking at the calculation of solubility and solubility product of salts. So for any saturated solution of a sparingly soluble salt that we have over here of the form AXBY, the equilibrium can be written as this, as seen over here. So now, we can see that we have two different atoms coming together to form the salt. Okay, so in the ionic state, we have the first atom raised to its power then we have the second atom the same raised to the power and then we have the mole of the first atom then the, we have the mole of the second atom as well in front of it now if the solubility of the salt is s mole per dm cube over here then at equilibrium the ionic concentrations can be written of the form s multiplied by the solubility of a and then y multiplied by the solubility of b so now that we have the equilibrium we can now write our what our ksp or our solubility product constant as the product of what a the ion a raised to the mole as the power and then the ion b raised to the y which is its mole what do i mean by this let's have a look at an example so assuming we have calcium chloride which is of the form CaCl2. At equilibrium, this is how the equation is going to look like. So we have this. Now we know calcium is calcium 2 plus, and then we have chlorine to be what? Cl minus. But then we have what? Chlorine to be 2 over here, so we balance it by writing 2 over here. And then calcium is 1, calcium is also 1 over here. Aqueous, aqueous. So from here, our KSP is just the product of these two ions over here. So we have calcium 2 plus. Because the mole over here is 1, the power is also 1. So we leave that. Then we have chlorine minus. Because the mole is 2, it is raised to the power 2. Now the unit is what? Mole per dm cubed or raised to the power x plus y where x and y are the individual powers of the ions over here so in this case the ksp is equal to calcium 2 plus multiplied by chlorine minus raised to the power 2 mole per dm cube or raised to the power we have 1 over here plus 2 so making it what 3 so it means the unit in this case is going to be mole per dm cube raised to the power 3. And this is what? Mole cube dm negative 9 as the unit in this particular example. Now note that the KSP has no constant unit. Its unit depends on the number of moles of ions produced by the salt. For example, the unit of the KSP for salt AXBY is equal to mole per dm cube raised to the power x plus y as I explained earlier on. So assuming we are dealing with another compound and then the sum of what their powers is 5, it means our unit will be equal to what? Mole per dm cube raised to the power 5. So it means our final unit will be what more raised to the power 5 dm minus 15 as the unit so you can see depending on the moles of atoms that are available in equilibrium then the unit of ksp changes as such all right so let's have a look at an example given that the salt over here magnesium hydroxide has the solubility product of what 8.9 times 10 is the power minus 12 mole cube dm minus 9 
calculate the solubility of magnesium oxide sorry magnesium hydroxide in water all right so let's go ahead and write our answer so the question again is telling us what we have the salt magnesium hydroxide in an aqueous medium it will become what magnesium 2 plus the magnesium will not carry this as its charge so magnesium 2 plus plus oh minus aqueous aqueous but we can see the oh here is what two so we write our two over here so this is the equilibrium for this particular salt now the ksp the ksp has been given in the question and then it is what 8.9 times 10 raised to the power minus 12 mole cube gm minus 9. now what are the concentrations of what magnesium and then hydroxide in equilibrium now the concentration of magnesium 2 plus we don't know so we say let it be what s over here now for the hydroxide iron because we have two over here two will multiply what the s which is what the solubility of the hydroxide so we have what two s over here now we can go ahead and write the ksp formula so the ksp for this particular salt is what the product of what magnesium two plus and hydroxide ion raised to the power 2. The unit is what? Mole per dm cube raised to the power what? X plus Y. So now that we have the KSP to be what? 8.9 times 10 raised to the power minus 12. This will be equal to what? Magnesium 2 plus is what? S. So we have X over here. Then we have the hydroxide ion to be what 2s squared mole per dm cube or is the power we have x is 1 y is 2 so this is 3 all right so let's move on so we have 8.9 times 10 to the power minus 12 is equal to this is x multiplied by this will become 4s squared and then we have the units to be what more cube dm minus 9 so i'll be ignoring the unit so that you can easily calculate and then add the unit after the calculation okay so we have 8.9 times 10 to the power minus 12 is equal to 4x cube so we divide by 4 then we have our x cube to be equal to 2.225 times 10 raised to the power minus 12. So our x will not be what the cubic root of 2.225 times 10 raised to the power minus 12. So the value of x or the solubility is now 1.31 times 10 raised to the power minus 4 more per dm minus cube okay now this is more per dm cube because the cubic root will affect the unit that we have over here during the calculation so if cubic root of this as well will be what more per dm cube as the individual unit over here so let's take note of that all right Let's have a look at the second example. So example number two. Write the value of the solubility product, KSP of the salt, this, okay, in terms of its solubility S. Given that the solubility S is what? 1.5 times 10 to the power negative 7 mole per dm cube. Calculate the KSP of the salt. So let's go ahead and write our solution. So the I aspect is telling us, write down the value of the solubility product KSP of the salt, this. So our salt is what? This. 
and then in aqueous solution it will become what we have we have pb the lead will now carry this as the charge so we have lead 2 plus aqueous plus po4 it will now carry the 3 as each charge so 3 minus okay but now we know the po4 is what 2 so we bring the 2 here and then the lead is what 3 so we bring the 3 here so we can see that the charge over here is what plus 6 the charge over here is minus 6 so they both balance so this is our equilibrium all right so now that we have this our ksp is equal to what pb2 plus with the power 3 which is the mole and then po4 3 minus with the power 2 which is the mole over here all right now the question is telling us we should write the ksp in terms of its solubility s so it means they are giving us the concentration of this to be what s so let's write that down so we know that 2 plus is what we know is 3 moles over here so it becomes what 3s that of what po4 3 minus is what 2 over here so it becomes what 2s so it means our ksp is now equal to what 3s cube and then what 2s squared so our ksp is now equal to 3 cube is what 27 s cube multiplied by what 4s squared so our ksp in terms of s will now be what 108 s raised to the power 5 more raised to the power 5 dm negative 15 all right so now that we have our ksp in terms of s let's look at the second aspect of the question the second aspect is saying if the solubility s our s is now equal to what 1.5 times 10 to the power minus 7 more per dm cube let's find the ksp now this is easy for us because the i aspect has made us calculate the ksp in terms of s so all we need to do is to substitute the value of s over here to get our ksp so our ksp now is equal to 108 multiplied by what 1.5 times 10 to the power minus 7 always to the power 5 so our ksp is equal to if we input all this into the calculator we are going to get 8.2 times 10 to the power negative 33 more raised to the power 5 dm negative 15 so this is the ksp of our salt in this example let's have a look at another example given that this salt has the solubility product this okay calculate the ionic concentrations of the individual ions produced at equilibrium so let's go ahead and see so we write our solution so this is our salt okay so in equilibrium we are going to have this we are going to have calcium 2 plus aqueous plus po4 3 minus now the calcium is 3 over here so we balance it 3 and then this is 2 we balance it 2 over here let's include our aqueous aqueous over here so this is for the equilibrium of our salt now our ksp is now equal to what calcium 2 plus raised to the power 3 and then po4 3 minus raised to the power 2 okay now the question has given us the ksp to be what 1.40 times 10 to the power negative 37 more to the power 5 dm negative 15. 
and we have to calculate the concentrations of the ions at equilibrium so we have what calcium 2 plus the concentration will become what because this is 3 we have what let's use y so 3y and then for this we have the concentration to be what to be what 2y because we have the mode here to be 2 all right so now that we have this we can go ahead and substitute ksp this and this in the equation that we have over here so we have 1.40 times 10 is the power negative 37 to be equal to our calcium 2 plus is what 3y so we have 3y cube and then our po 43 minus is what 2y squared so 1.40 times 10 is the power negative 37 is equal to this everything over here will give us what 108y cube all right so from here we divide both sides by what 108 so we have this divided by 108 is equal to what 108 y cube sorry where is the power 5 this is 5 5 because this will be y cube this will be y squared so we add them to become y with the power 5 divided by 108 so if we input this into the calculator we are going to get over here this will cancel this we are going to get y raised to the power 5 to be equal to 1.40 times 10 raised to the power negative 37 divided by 108 so we just take the root of this that is the fifth root of 1.40 times 10 raised to the power negative 37 divided by 108 so our y will now be equal to 1.67 times 10 raised to the power minus 8 more per dm cube so it means when we want to find the concentration of calcium 2 plus and then base we just need to substitute the value of y over here in place of this that we have over here to get it so if we do that let me let me get some space all right Okay, so if we do that, we are going to get our calcium 2 plus to be what? 3 into bracket 1.67 times 10 to the power minus 8. And this is going to give us what? 5.01 times 10 to the power minus 8 molar or mole per dm cube as the concentration of calcium 2 plus in equilibrium. So that of what? PO4. 3 minus will now be what 2 into bracket 1.67 times 10 to the power minus 8 and this is equal to what 3.34 times 10 to the power minus 8 molar so these two answers are the concentrations of what the individual ions at equilibrium so thank you so much for watching and then i'll see you in the next video bye bye